so another issue people run into is that, you know, whether you're, you're a marketer and the client shared your, uh, their verified domain name with you or vice versa. I don't know why the marketer would own the domain, but anyways, um, but in whatever scenario, if somebody shared the domain verified domain name with you, um, and you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to go set up the aggregated events. And, uh, I did my hierarchy. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to set those up. And then you go into your, um, web event configurations and you scroll through, you see your, do the domain name. I'm going to move my face. It's like in the way you see the domain name, you click on it. And then it's like, oh, this domain is owned by another business. Meaning another business has control to edit events configured on this domain, contact domain owner for assistance. That just means, so in every scenario, if you are not, if your business manager account is not the official primary domain verification owner, you cannot set up aggregated events. So if you are a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Proactive marketer and you go and you're just building all these custom events and you're like, cool, it's all great. And you're ready to go and set this up. You don't want to bug your client. Well, you're going to have to bug your client because you're the only way that you're going to add those aggregated events is if you, um, own the verification. Now there is another solution. Uh, normally this happens when a client will, um, give you access to their assets, um, through like you can access their assets through your own business manager account. But if the client adds your, your, you as a user, like your email as a Facebook user to their business manager, they're giving you access to their entire business manager. So, um, as long as they select all those different, um, rights and they give you admin rights, then what you can do is you can just literally go here, select the business manager account you want to work with, and then you can set up those aggregated events. But if they didn't give you access or that, you know, they refuse to give you access, then you're going to have this problem and they're going to have to, to, to set it up unless they want to give you access. Um, so that's, that's, that. that's like in basically any scenario. So just make sure that you, you, you find out who, who owns it, um, and then get in touch with them to help you set up those aggregated events or ask them to give you access to their business manager account.